Hey guys, so in today's video, I want to talk about my last video, my video where I compare some Traxxas batteries to some Venom batteries. And in case you do not know, I compared these Traxxas batteries to these Venom batteries right here. And I, uh, you know, left out some information. I said some stuff that I, you know, I think I made some mistakes in the video, but they were not on purpose. And so I wanted to address all that today. So, um, I also want to address some comments that were left in that video and I uh, also want to explain a few other things also. First thing I want to explain is that I have a speech impediment. That is a thing that I have. I have a very difficult time speaking. I have a difficult time getting my words out. It takes a lot of focus. That's why if you watch my videos and I'm trying to jump and flip the Revo or whatever, I stop speaking while I'm doing it. And if I am speaking, I will make a mistake because it takes so much of my mental concentration to speak without making mistakes. I stutter, I leave out words. If you watch my videos, you'll see, I know I did it in my last video where I will start to say a word and I would just straight out, just leave the word out completely. And a lot of this, I do not catch it when I do it. I go back and watch the video, I'm like, oh, I can't believe I said what I said. And I also have a hard time like structuring what I want to say like in my head as I'm saying it. And so sometimes I'll, you know, I'll record a video or whatever. I'll get back in there and I'm starting, I'm starting to edit it. And I just, I just, I'll look at it and I'm like, man, I can't put this out. I cannot put this out. And so lots of times I will, you know, I'll record something like three or four times and try to take like the best one or I'll clip together like the best takes and stuff like that. And it's just because I have a really difficult time speaking and I mean, I know that you guys have seen it. You guys have made comments about the way I pronounce words. And I know that this is a thing that you guys have seen. And so in my last video, there are actually whole sections that I cut out about a lot of the stuff I should have. Like when I talk about the C rating, which I'm going to talk about, which I'm going to see, I just did it then. That's, that's me uh, messing up. I would have cut that out, but I'm going to leave it in and let you guys see what I'm talking about. But yeah, so there are, there's probably about five minutes of content that I cut out that I should have left in where I talk about the C ratings and how CD ratings are supposed to work on RC cars, on the batteries and what have you. The batteries, they have a C rating that is a sustained seat rating. And then they have like a burst seat rating. And the way you get that burst seat rating is you, you double the sustained rate C rating. So a 35 C battery, these, these 35, those 35 C batteries should be a 70 burst C rating and I knew that in my head but I kind of I kind of assumed that's what it was I didn't know for a fact that's kind of like something that I I knew but I wasn't totally totally sure of it and what made me question that I I did a test with my Erivo and I was not getting the results out of the Venom batteries that I sh should have and so that changed my whole perspective of what I thought I was supposed to be getting out of these batteries to explain what I'm talking about the day I got my Erivo was March, well, March 8th of 2000 and what, 2018, I think is when it came out. I have, I have photos on my phone of when I get my Erivo and I, so I know what date it was. And my first videos I recorded with it are March 9th. So I go out to the park and record some videos on that day. Now, my very first YouTube video on this channel is that video at the time. I was not making a YouTube channel. I was just making a video to show friends. I was going to show this RC off to some friends. So that's why there's no commentary or anything like that. And originally it just, you know, that was on my old YouTube channel, which was like my personal channel. It wasn't even on this channel to start off with. And I, I took it to the park and I have these exact batteries right here. So I have those exact Venom batteries. And they're supposed to be a 70C burst rating. And I go out there and I'm doing standing back flips and I'm recording it with my iPhone. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get the video to show you on here. And I actually went out there with my Erivo with the Traxxas batteries. And I try to do the exact same thing with the Traxxas batteries and so that you can see the difference between these two side by side doing the standing back flip. Anyway, so I'm out there with the 35C 70 burst Venom batteries doing these standing back flips. And I try to record, I think I probably recorded like like 10 or 15 different times. And I, I left the two best flips, the two best standing back flips in that video. 
And so those are the ones I'm going to use to measure against the, the Traxxas uh, batteries, right? Well, then I went out there uh, of, you know, a few weeks ago when I got my Traxxas batteries and I did the exact same thing. I set it down in the exact same spot. I uh, had the Traxxas batteries in there and I pulled the trigger all the way because that's what I did with the Venom batteries to get it to a standing back flip. And I was using that to compare it with, right? So I have, you know, the day I got my Venom batteries, I have got those shots and I got the same shots of, you know, basically not the day I got the Traxxas batteries, but like, I think like the week after or whatever. So that's what I was using to compare those, those two batteries with. And I, um, the reason why I didn't show that in my last video is because the resolution on my old video is so poor and I have no control over the way that the frame rate is or anything like that because it's recorded on a different iPhone. It was edited in uh, a splice on my phone. The whole thing was edited and I do not have access to the raw video anymore because I deleted it off my phone because you only have so much space on a phone. So I deleted a lot of those videos and so I don't have that video anymore. So I'm just going to have to take the finished video and show you guys. And so hopefully what you see on the screen right now, <laughs> on the left, I'm going to have the Venom batteries and on the right, I'm going to have the uh, Traxxas batteries and so that is what you're seeing the 35 C on the left the 25 C on the right and so I don't know the exact measurement of time because I haven't looked at this like frame by frame in the editor But what I did do is I compared them side by side Using two different cell phones and I I press play on both phones at the same time at the moment where it starts to flip at and you can clearly see that the Revo is faster with the Traxxas batteries, it rotates faster. So I do know that even though the Venom batteries are supposed to be 70Cs, they do not act like it in this video. Because the Traxxas batteries spin the Erevo at a, a higher rate than those Venom batteries, I thought I was incorrect in thinking that you just double the C rating to get the, the burst rating. And so that's what I was thinking last week when I made that video. I thought I had been wrong like previously before that. I thought I had been thinking, you know, believing the wrong thing. I always thought that you just, you know, double the rating, double the sustain rating, and you get the burst rating. And that's not what I was getting, like the, that's not the results I was getting out of the battery. It's not the performance I was getting out of the battery. So I'm like, well, I must have been wrong. That 35C rating must be what these batteries like give, like even for like a burst rating or whatever, right? I didn't realize that there was that much of a difference between the brands. And so what I did was I went up to the hobby shop and I talked to some of the guys about batteries. And apparently these C ratings, it's just, you get wildly different performance out of different brands of batteries. And apparently Traxxas, they must use like a higher quality cell in their batteries or something like that. And that's why you get better performance out of the Traxxas batteries. Cause these 50 C, you know, burst batteries should not be outperforming these 70 C burst batteries, but they are. And I don't know if it's because Venom, they just, don't rate their stuff correctly. They don't put their numbers on there correctly. Or, you know, I don't know what is going on. Maybe they're using like cheaper materials. I do not know. But what I do know is that these Traxxas batteries give you, a, you know, it's very obvious from the video. It's very obvious from driving around. These Traxxas batteries, they perform way better than these Venom batteries do. Something else I wanted to address is the comment that someone left. I think a couple of people commented that Traxxas got to me. That Traxxas has told me to say something different. That Traxxas has somehow convince me to say positive things and lie about their batteries and products and stuff like that. That is not true. Traxxas has never contacted me about anything. Traxxas has never uh, called me. They've never emailed me. They've never left comments on my videos I'm aware of. They have not had any contact with me whatsoever. Um, you know, that has anything to do about anything like that. The only time I've ever talked to anyone at Traxxas is when I call them for like customer support or something like that. And when I do that, I don't tell them who I am. Like I don't say like, Hey, I have a YouTube channel and I don't do any of that. I, uh, I just, I get the same experience that you guys get, you know, as far as I know, uh, maybe I talk to people sometimes that are having a good day and they want to like give me special treatment just because they're being nice or maybe they just they're wanting to quit their jobs and they're wanting to screw traffic over and they're just giving away like free stuff or whatever i don't know i don't know what's going on i just uh i just know that i have never like try to use my channel as an advantage to try to get anything from Traxxas and I'm I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Traxxas probably will never sponsor a channel like this. I went to school for applied graphics and advertising and I've been doing marketing, advertising and stuff like that for a very long time. Never like professionally all that much. I've just kind of toyed around with it. I know companies, they don't want to have their product put up against another brand without them being in control. Traxxas, they're not going to sponsor me 
to do a review on a product when I'm going to be comparing it to something else. They don't want me to compare uh, Traxxas to an Arma or anything like that. Uh, they don't have control over me. They know they do not. They don't know what I'm going to say. They're not going to okay and approve the video before I put it out. Traxxas, they're not going to sponsor me or anything like that. And if they do ever like sponsor me or if they ever like tell me I have to say something about a product or something like that, I believe it's illegal for me not to tell you. Like I know if I am sponsored by someone that I'm getting paid, I have got to tell you guys I am getting paid. I have got to tell you that I've got some affiliation with that company. I can't just come up here and just, you know, talk about a brand and then not tell you that I am not affiliated with them in some way. I have got to tell you that. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, that, that, that's illegal that if you have been keeping up with, uh, what is, I think, uh, you know, T Martin, he's a cod youtuber he got in trouble for you know doing something like that back in the past and there's some other companies i think right now there's some like thing on youtube where some beauty person i don't know who she is put out some like brand or product or something that was hers and she didn't tell people that it was like her product or whatever and so she's in a lot of trouble for that yeah you can get in a lot of trouble if you come out here and you're dishonest about um your connections to a product so i i, I don't i'm not going to do any of that uh you know if i tell you something it's you know what i believe it's uh it's what i believe to be true i may be wrong about some things i say and that's not intentional but you know I, traxxas has no influence over me whatsoever these brands have no influence over me whatsoever i'm not going to come over here and just say hey buy this product because that company says so you know unless they they pay me a lot of money so if you guys want to you know uh you know sponsor me you know um traxxas Raycon Raycon's putting out a lot of advertisements right now and it's funny if you look at the Raycon advertisements I know you guys have seen them they sponsor all kind of people right if you notice in their videos or in their advertisements they talk about the Apple iPods the not iPods the what are the earbuds the airpods that's what they're called the airpods and how they hang out of your ear the advertisements talks about those but it never names Apple. It never names Apple. And that's something that companies do. They do not name their competitors and stuff like that. You know, a lot of the time. Sometimes they do, but usually they, they do not. They try to avoid that. That's a marketing tactic. It's something that they do. So, yeah. So, any of you that think that I have some, like, some connection to Traxxas, you are mistaken. So yeah, I, I apologize for the confusion on the C ratings and what have you. I'm gonna leave that other video up. I'll probably leave a link to this video in the description or something like that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's how you get your burst rating. You just double your sustain rating and different brands give you different results. So I think that still, my last video still shows you how much of a difference that you can get out of different types of batteries. And even though those Venom batteries are like eight months old. Yeah, those Venom batteries are like eight months old. The ones that I use inside of that Erevo when I was comparing to those Traxxas batteries. So if those batteries decline that much in eight months, like I, I don't know what to say about that. Are lipos supposed to decline like that? You know, that quickly? That just seems really like crazy to me and i i charge my batteries correctly i store them correctly i do all that and so it's not the way that i've been using them i mean i'm still using some of the same batteries i've been using for you know four or five years so i know that i take care of my batteries the best that i can so i don't know why those venom batteries don't perform the way the traxxas batteries do they didn't perform you know better than traxxas batteries when they were brand new because they are brand new in the video of my Erevo. so i don't know I don't know why Venom batteries perform like that. I don't know. I don't know why Traxxas batteries like outperform Venom batteries. I do not know. So that's just, I guess those C ratings, they just, they don't seem to mean that much if that's the kind of results you get, right? I mean, if the C ratings are that inconsistent across brands, what's the point of even having C ratings? Like what does that even mean? What does, what does it all mean? You know, I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. That's absolutely crazy to me that they would have that much of a difference in how their batteries perform at the same like C ratings and what have you. That's just, that's crazy. Yeah. So that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, as you see, I got lots of work to do. I got tons of stuff I'm building and putting together. I got everything cut. I just need to screw everything together and get it put in place. So I got that still to, to do and dinner will be here at any minute my wife she just ordered us some barbecue so it's on its way i cannot wait to get some barbecue chicken but yeah so uh anyways 
Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for liking my videos. If you don't share and like that last video, I don't, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Uh, I, 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 I guess I'm not all that proud of it since I made that one little mistake, but it still shows you the differences between the brands, which I think is pretty important. But yeah, so anyways, I guess uh, that's all I got for you guys today and I will see you later.